Hello students, welcome to the presentation. Students, so far we have studied sets, types of sets, methods of writing a set. Hence, we have reached the last part of your lesson. Today, we are going to learn and understand operations on sets. Under the operations on sets, the points which we are going to cover today is the first one, intersection of sets and the second one, union of two sets. The third point, number of elements in a set and the last one will be disjoint sets. Let us now study what do you mean by intersection of two sets. The intersection of two sets A and B is a set of common elements of A and B. It is written as A intersection B. Here I have highlighted A intersection B. Please make a note of this. For example, set A is equal to 1, 3, 5, 7 and set B is equal to 2, 3, 6, 8. Here you have to see the A intersection B will be a common element from both the sets A and B. That is only one element which is common that is 3. The Venn diagram for A intersection B can be drawn as follows. Here set A has showed in this circle 157 and set B has showed 268 in this circle. Both are intersecting and the common element has been showed in an a shaded region in between. The next one points to remember under the intersection of elements. The first one A intersection B will be always equal to B intersection A. The second one if A is a subset of B then A intersection B will be equal to A. The third one if A intersection B is equal to B then definitely B will be a subset of A. And the fourth one if A intersection B will be a subset of A and A intersection B will be a subset of B. And the fifth one, A intersection and complement of A will be always a null set. That means the intersection of set A and the A complement will definitely be a null set. The sixth one, A intersection A will be always equal to A. And the last point, A intersection null set, again you will get a null set only. Let us now study what do you mean by union of two sets. The union of two sets A and B is a set which consists of all the elements of A and B. It is written as A union B. Here I have highlighted how we can write A union B. Please make a note of this. For example, set A is equal to minus 1, comma, minus 3, comma, minus 5, comma, 0. Set B is equal to 0, 3, 5. Here we can write A union B as the combination of both the sets A and B because the name itself it says union. But while writing A union B, one thing you should keep it in mind that the number 0 which has been shown in both the sets A and B, when you are writing in a A union B, it should be written only once. The Venn diagram for A union B can be drawn as follows. Here you can see the set A I have mentioned minus 3, minus 5, minus 1 and set B 3, 5 and the common element that is 0 has been mentioned in between. The only difference between the union of sets and the intersection of sets is in intersection of sets the common element which has been showed in between will be shaded with the color but in a union the complete region has been shaded with the color. Points to remember under the union of sets. The first one A union B equal to B union A. Second one if A is a subset of B then 
E union B equal to B. And the third one, A is a subset of A union B, then B is also will be a subset of A union B. The fourth one, the union of A and A complement will be a, a universal set. And the fifth one, A union A will be always a set A and union of A and the null set again a set A. Let us now learn what do you mean by number of elements in a set. Let A be a finite set. The number of elements in set A is denoted by N of A. We read it as N of A or number of elements in set A. Students, please make a note how we can write N of A and we will always read it as N of A or you can also read it as number of elements in set A. For example, set A is equal to 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Therefore, N of A is equal to 5. How? You should count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. When you are counting the number of elements, you will get a number that is 5. So, N of A will be 5. Let us next see number of elements in union and intersection of sets. Let A and B are two finite sets. Therefore, N of A union B is equal to N of A plus N of B minus N of A intersection B. Here, I have highlighted the thing. That means this is an important formula. It is also called as De Morgan's law, which you are going to use while solving the sums. Again, I repeat, it is N of A union B is equal to N of A plus N of B minus N of A intersection B. It can be also written as N of A plus N of B. The minus of N of A intersection B, I have moved to the right hand side. So, it will become N of plus. The next one which we are going to learn is disjoint sets. Let A is equal to 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and B is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Confirm that not a single element is common in set A and B. Such sets which are completely different from each other are called disjoint sets. That means if you observe set A and set B. There is not even a single element is common. They are completely different. Therefore, the name itself it says disjoint. The Venn diagram for disjoint sets can be drawn as follows. See, here I have showed the Venn diagram. Set A we have showed in a circle and set B in a separate circle. Even the color inside the region are different. I am happy to announce we have done with your 9th standard first chapter. Hope you are able to understand. Thank you.